people use spoons to eat. Yeah, we all know that. But did you know that spoons can help you look prettier? I'm going to show you guys three different ways to use your spoon for your beauty routine. Need a rude wake-up call? Throw two spoons in your freezer and leave them there overnight. And when you wake up, just take them out and lay them over your eyes like this until they're no longer cold. The frozen spoons are going to help firm and tighten the skin, reducing the appearance of dark puffy eyes. Now flip your spoons over and press them against your face like this. When you're massaging the spoons on your face like this, this will help spread out any excess water retention in your face. It's usually due to dehydration or not taking in enough water will usually swell up your face when you wake up in the morning. So now your face should look fresh and ready to take on the world. Have you ever forgotten your lash curler? Curling your lashes using a spoon has been around for ages. It's an old fashioned trick that's foolproof. What you need to do is take the edge of your spoon and line it up with your lashes. With your thumb, gently press your lashes against the edge of the spoon and you'll see the crimped effect. If you look carefully, compare the shape of the metal lash curler with the spoon. It has the same curvy shape. And once you're done, apply mascara as usual and enjoy your perky lashes! Last tip, I'm going to show you how to make your own lip color using just a spoon and heat. Find some petroleum jelly. I have here my travel-sized Vaseline. It's so little! Add a little bit of blush or eyeshadow in the spoon like so. Add a dollop of petroleum jelly in the spoon. The more you add, the more sheer the lip color will be. And with your lighter, melt down your ingredients. Oh, I should have used my giant lighter. Try not to do this in public or else people might get the wrong idea. Once the petroleum jelly has liquefied, pour it in a contact lens case. And here you have it. Let's say you want to Frankenstein two lipstick colors together. Easy peasy. All you have to do is cut out a small amount of your favorite lipstick colors. Urban legend tells us that an average woman eats up to six pounds of lipstick in a lifetime. Yummy! If that's true, then double that for me. Okay, time for some shady business. Melt down your goods. Mix everything up real well with your toothpick. And then just pour the sucker into its new home. And now just wait for it to cool down to solidify. Now you can name your new lip shade. What would you name this color? I think I'm gonna call it Shady Pink. Spoons have been around for quite a long time since the Paleolithic era and royalty often use spoons made out of gold or silver. Baller! All right, so I gotta figure out how to use chopsticks for beauty tricks. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and of course, good luck. Music by Annie, Heartbeat.